Hashtag no offense uses strong language and is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. Hashtag no offense. Welcome back to another episode of Hashtag No Offense. My name's Chris, joined by the Duchess. Hey. And that motherfucker Tampa Two Rings. What up, what up? <laughs> what's, uh, what's happening, y'all? Same old shit. Oh, no, you tell me. Y'all are the ones that got to enjoy the the uh, tank oh. or whatever, the float. Wow, the floaties. You, you just went from fucking 1 to 99, bitch. We'll get there, okay? <laughs> we will. You asked us the question. We He's will get there. answering it. All right. I'm drinking uh, pineapple mojitos today. Oh, that's fancy. I was going to change it up. Well, I had two at lunch, and they were really good. Yeah. So I decided to make myself a pitcher of them. Chris said you got salad in your drink. I know. It's got some <laughs> fucking roughage floating around in there. It's mint, bitch. I got to crack me a beer because I have a beer that's for the diet. Slighty mighty. Dogfish head slightly mighty. Locale IPA, 95 calories on a fucking craft beer. Nice. And it doesn't taste like shit. Well, that's a plus. Mm-hmm. It's good shit. It's good shit for good when shit. you're trying to diet. I guess I just gave up. <laughs> I'm drinking simple syrups. Yeah, you really don't give a fuck. I ah. do. <laughs> this episode and every episode of the Hashtag No Offense Show is sponsored by Hemp Bombs CBD. Hemp Bombs are specifically formulated to provide consumers with a quality CBD product at an affordable price. Hemp Bombs contain 99% pure CBD isolate with 0% THC and are legal in all 50 states. The many benefits of hemp bombs include reduced anxiety, increased sense of relaxation, reduction of aches and pains, mood enhancement, and deeper, more restful sleep. Hemp bombs come in a variety of products, including oils and e-liquids, gummies and suckers, capsules, syrup, and even products for your pet. Fourth of July is around the corner, right, Dutchie? I always say it. That's why I said, right, Dutchie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> She always says it. I always says it. Check it out. Go to HempBombs.com. Use code word HTNAS. Save 20% on your entire order. Get some for you. Get some for Fido. Get some for your mama. Get some for your fucking mailman. Get some for everybody. Everybody needs some CBD from HempBombs.com. I think mailmen need it more than everybody. <laughs> I saw Why? Because they go on postal? Oh, oh, shit. Well, I saw a mail. I saw a video of this mail lady today. And these people ordered like a diaper genie or some shit. And it was all broken. So when they looked at their like ring that they have, how does that get broke? When they looked at the ring that they have hooked up to the doorbell or whatever, the bitch just took the box and chucked it over the fence. Oh shit! <laughs> and just threw it at the front door. That's why it was broken. Sounds oh, okay. vindictive. She probably knew those people. Definitely give your male people some CBD. Yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want busted packages, nobody yeah. likes them. No, we are also sponsored by Official Clothing. Rooted in Hip Hop Officials, a streetwear company creating high quality t shirts, hats, and jewelry at an affordable price. Featuring reimaginations of classic hip hop and sports logos, as well as original designs, there's something at official for all taste. Check out official.com, spelled O H F I S H L, and see for yourself. And don't forget to use code HTNOS to save 25% off your entire order. Official clothing, live by your own rules. Still waiting on them girl shirts, Cass. Still waiting on them girl shirts, Cass. If he listens. He listens every week. It's his Monday ritual. <laughs> All right, good to know. Shout out to Who Kaz. Don't listen. Hook it up to Shout them out to girl Kaz. shirts. <laughs> yeah, you Maybe. really should probably cater to your female audience a little bit, man. Plus, then we get to see titties. Woo! Maybe I'll just send him a shirt, and then he could put an O on it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe then I'll, I'll get it that way. There you go. He's doing his job for him. Don't do that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are also part of the Inner Circle Podcast Network. Look for us at innercirclepn.com and on socials at innercirclepn as well, Twitter and Instagram. Um, home to the Simmons and More Podcast, Hood Diner, The Plunge, Any Pod Will Do, and Shit Happens When You Party Naked. All fine programs. All can be found at innercirclepn.com. I don't have a Slimmer Circle update this week. I have no standings. I'm sure you're at the top. I'm assuming I am because, I mean, there's no stopping this fucking freight train. I mean, someone would have to have a miraculous week to, uh, you know. Close the gap. Yeah, dethrone you. I think if anybody does, it's going to be Joby just because he's so competitive. He's doing it out of spite now. I told you Mm -hmm. he's wearing that fucking vest that looks like he's one of the Avengers going to travel through time and shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it like a sweat vest or something? It's weighted. He he takes it off and it hits the floor and it makes a sound and he thinks that I'm intimidated. What, is he going swimming with his sharks or something? Like what? <laughs> I don't think very you'd want to wait to do best for that. <laughs> but yeah, swimmer, cir- uh, swimmer circle. 
<laughs> That's when you go swimming with the sharks. There you go. <laughs> the slimmer circle uh, is is in full effect right now. I think we're in week five or six. Um, Almy just dropped episode four of the companion podcast. Look for that on the Inner Circle Presents feed, uh, as well as all the other original programming that we are providing. You, yep. Jason, man, cup is finally done. That's right, St. Louis Blues. What up? Why are you all happy about that? Because I hate Boston. <laughs> there you go. Can you can you expound upon or expand upon that? No, Why just, he hates Boston? Yeah. No, well, just I just don't be shy. I mean, no, no, just, no, I'm just, just I'm trying to get my, my facts in order. It my just seems facts. like it just seems like Boston fans are assholes. So, like you know, I'm not saying the collective city of Boston, but the people Why? that like the team seem to be assholes. I mean. You know, like they were shooting birds at like the <laughs> fucking players and everything. You know, after they won, and, like, like little all kinds birds. Of... You're talking about middle fingers. Middle fingers. Yes, they were shooting quail <laughs> in the fucking in the stadium right there on the ice. They were shooting fucking ducks and then throwing them at the players. That's what they were doing. You never know. <laughs> fuck, get People out of here. People are fucking weird. Get right? the fuck out of here. But um, but yeah, no. So I don't know. I've just never liked Boston teams. You know. So I know some people that are decent people that are Boston fans. But, yeah, I know a couple. I don't. I mean, I'm but just, collectively as a whole, most of them are seem like assholes. But I'm just saying, I don't like them either. I, I was just was wondering where yours stemmed from. Yeah. No. I mean, well, because <laughs> I don't like St. Louis either. Being beat a lot, garbage you know. Cup. Was, I had no interest in the cup. I hated both teams. I, right. If there was a way that they could both lose, I would fucking. <laughs> I would have I would have preferred that. Right. They no, fucking I got suck. you. You texted me though when uh, game 7 was over and you said that the uh, Oh yeah, dude, like when they when they were handing out the cup and everything and the different players were getting, dude, I heard so many fucks on NBC, it was ridiculous. Like good fucks? <laughs> like <laughs> Fuck, well, I just, can't believe what is this? wrong with you tonight? What? I can't believe this. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck yes. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. Ah. Fuck. No, it was yeah, it was stuff like happy fucks. They, yeah, they were happy all, fucks. Like happy you know, fucks. because like one of the guys was getting ready to hand it up. He handed it right to another guy, and then you just hear him go, "Holy fuck!" Like, <laughs> <laughs> but like I, I told you though, it's always like that, dude. Like I remember, like Patrick Kane, he was he was going crazy. I think it was the first one they won in ten. Mm-hmm. Like he he was all the same thing. You know, motherfucker, hell yeah, all right. It was funny though when they came back from break, and then the announcer was like, "So we want to apologize for maybe the some the colorful some language." Colorful you've language. Heard. Yeah, he's like, "We've made sure the microphones are off on the ice now." I'm like, "Oh my yeah, gosh!" Right. Well, it, no, it, it happens did every year. Though. It did. It, the mics were off because you could see guys lipping it, but then not saying it. Yeah, but it's like that every time, though, dude. I mean, like, and you, I don't know. You you want to take the the excitement out of sports dude these guys just won the, the goddamn stanley cup dude like i was telling you about patrick kane man uh not only did he do that on the ice but i think for like the next three months he just was going crazy all over the city of chicago <laughs> do you remember that no like it was like kane watch like the dude was just getting fucking blackout drunk every day and like <laughs> bitches were going out like it was a scavenger hunt to try to see who could get sexually assaulted by patrick kane on, on any given night because he's down with that game he was going everywhere dude he was at bars every every night just getting wasted dude Dude, all over Chicago. He was ending up on everybody's social media and shit. Fucking, you know. Oh, throw, that's cool. Yeah, throwing high fives and shit. Hashtag King Game. Fuck Woo-hoo. yeah, dude. I don't know where he went, but <laughs> wasn't there this year. All right, baby. What? Do you well, I know you've seen it because you sent it to me. Justin Bieber challenging Tom Cruise <laughs> to a fight. I don't know where. Yeah. They're probably the same height. Why? Why you say that? Tom Cruise wears stacks. You didn't know that? I know Tom Cruise is short, but I don't think Bieber is short. Is he short? I, I always, no matter how old he is, I always think of him as the 16. He's a little kid. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you right now, Bieber's 25. Oh, shit. And Cruise is 56. Cruise can still probably take him. He's done like 70 yeah, Mission Impossibles. How do you bet against Tom Cruise? He's a goddamn warlock. He's got, <laughs> right? he's got the fucking power of Scientology on his side, dude. He's going to show up like fucking Thanos with goddamn gauntlets and gems and shit and just fucking whittle his fingers around and work his voodoo I'll, and shit. I'll show you how to eat a burrito, bitch. Is he going to walk in like those, uh, what are those people the with the white robes and like the... The Rem- KKK? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you should know no, them, Jason. No, the like the the alien people that Chris is always into that have a weird name, like the Anunnaki. Anunnaki, yeah, like where they, they got white robes. They got white. Remember, the, well, the thing you sent me, the read, and they're all like wearing like these white 
these white outfits or whatever. Oh, that's like, the Ashtar fucking Galactic Federation of Light, dog. Yeah, well, isn't that the same? Aren't no. they the Anunnaki? No. Well, whatever, I'm getting confused. But dude, yeah, that's, like, that's like saying Command. Asians, and I'm like, yeah, but they're Korean, dude. Like, it's <laughs> I know it's all encompassing, but no, there's little fucking subsets here. Come on, let's let's not sorry. offend anyone interplanetarily. Yeah, come okay, on. yeah, sorry. They come for you. They have feelings too. I tried to go for them. We'll get there later. <laughs> But uh, out your beaker. Yeah, I did. I sent out my beeper. Beaker. <laughs> was it beaker? Beacon. Begin. That's what it is. <laughs> Begin. If you, this got me thinking. It's real easy to challenge a dude that's thirty-one years older than you to a fight, you know. And and Bieber's kind of swole, you know. Bieber Bieber's in good shape. Just because he got tattoos, don't mean that he could fight. Well, no, I'm not saying he could fight, but he's, he looks like he's in good shape. If you were to challenge somebody thirty-one years older than you, who would it be? How old are you? Sigourney Weaver. You don't even know what she's like. <laughs> Here, let's do this. Let's do this right now. Let's okay. do this right now. 31 years You're old. You're 37. Well, yeah, so, so it'll be I'm 67. Just, I can think Sigourney Weaver's like 67. I'm going to I'm just I'm going si- to have to Google famous Listen, people no, that age. Here, I'm simply going to Google who is 67, okay? Women. Who is 67? Do famous people that are 67. Like that brought up a fucking uh, Women. Uh, here. Put women in there. Famous, Famous 67-year-old women. women. 67. So. So Gordon Weaver in her? It doesn't give me women specifically. That's sexist. You didn't put, I did. Did you put women I in I did there? fucking put it. Um, How about you give me some choices? These are all men. Do you want men choices? Ooh, do Linda I, Carter. Do you I think get the fuck them after? Could take, uh, you think you could take fucking Wonder Woman? No. <laughs> oh, I got I got William H Macy. I'll tear I'll tear that motherfucker up. You just like put your hand out and hold him. He's like so little. It's like swinging a miss, swinging a miss. <laughs> Lionel Richie. I mean, line him up. I'll take them all out. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> Stevie Wonder wouldn't know which way I'm coming from. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? He's got the predator dreads, man. I bet that he's got fucking extra sensory perception so, so in those he feels, dreads. He feels, yeah, it, he feels you coming. He feels it before he, before he, he hits turn him. his head and whip you. <laughs> <laughs> Start doing some Matrix shit on me. <laughs> how, who, who, how old am I? 39 to be 71? Yep. All right. Let's see. Who is fucking 71? Oh, wait. I would be 71, too. I'm looking at 69-year-olds. I can't You're count. You're fucking Ooh. retarded. <laughs> oh, sorry. Nicole Kidman's 67. Really? You want to take her? No. I'd pay for that. you pay for that? <laughs> yeah, I'd pay for that. Tina Fey. Oh, I'd, I'd pay for that hard. <laughs> I don't think she's 67. I think my Google's... Tina Fey's not 67. I think my Google's Fuck broken. Fuck off. Tina Fey's 45. <laughs> yeah, I think my Google's broken. <laughs> okay, you know who you should challenge at 71? Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Dude, he got dropkick at that basketball game and didn't even move. <laughs> hey, you could take Hillary Clinton. Schwarzenegger. Oh, shit, OJ. Think I could take OJ? No. I'm gonna... Steven ch- Tyler. I could, ch- I could take him. <laughs> he looks like a grandma. There are a lot of famous... OJ. Yeah, yeah, dude. There are a lot of famous. Ted Danson, Alice Cooper, Al Gore, Carl Weathers. Hey, right. Stevie Nicks is seventy one. Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge Carl Weathers. I'm gonna challenge fucking Apollo Creed to a fight. <laughs> now I'm putting it on Twitter and I'm gonna see if Conor McGregor will pick it up because that's that's who wanted to support the fucking Bieber fight. Oh, because he wants to me. well because he wants to fight Marky Mark for Marky Mark shares of or Mark Wahlberg. I'm sorry, right. I know who Marky Mark is. Yeah, but I guess Marky Mark is disrespectful. Fuck you, you're Marky Mark, dude. He, for life, for life, and he wants to fight him for his shares of the UFC. Oh, what? what? A, so, because Connor's pissed that he he wants part ownership, like that's Connor's beef, you know. Like he wants because he's a big draw, he wants part of the the mm-hmm. money, you know, mm-hmm. and he can't get it. So he wants to fight Mark Wahlberg for his fucking his share. <laughs> Mark's of the not gonna fight him. He's probably laughing at his ass. Let's mm-hmm. see. I got I got Meatloaf, Billy Crystal. He's still alive. He hasn't died from diabetes yet. Bobby Orr is. <laughs> That'd be a way to take it to some Boston fans. <laughs> 71 year old Bobby Orr. What was it? Was it Survivor Series? I know you're not big into wrestling, but it was like everybody's in there. And then, or no, it's like one person, two people start and then they start fighting. And then every couple minutes, another person comes out and then another person. Like, oh, yeah. So and then the last man in the ring is who who wins or whatever. That's almost like Kaz's fucking patented question that he always asks when he guests on podcasts. Mm. It's, um, if you, you let me get this right, you fight five midgets. Oh, 
Wait, I, I, I can't even, I, I'm not even going to start it because I don't even know the premise. It's something about five minutes, five midgets every five minutes. And then like, like there's a new wave that comes. How, uh-huh. how many midgets can Would you, it take? Could, yeah. could you fight or whatever? Fight like, off before they- I say infinity. If that's me, like I could fucking, I could get, <laughs> no, the- oh no, dude, you get worn down. Yeah. You get tired yeah. kicking the midgets after a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take one of them and use them as a weapon and start beating the other midgets with the fucking midget. You'd still get tired. No, I, th- I think I'd be hey. ener- energized just by the sheer fact that I'm doing something like that. Like but I would, they're little, but they're heavy. I don't, I don't know if midget is the right term, Chris. I mean, if you want, <laughs> elf. I think they're called little people. Damn, and he done used my fucking given name. I think he's serious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Lu- I'm sorry, Lunchy. <laughs> Snack, snack. You're out of pocket tonight. What? <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> Let's get into these Floridas. All right. Wood hoggy. Hey, Beatrice. Yeah? Get your ass in here. These no fence boys about to do work in Florida again. Let me grab the natty. Oh, shit. And I thought my family was fucked up. So I saw a new law in Florida that just is coming into pass uh, in a couple of weeks. Good law? <laughs> I hope so. It's for autonomous cars. I didn't know that this was like a fucking issue, but uh, apparently, the starting July first, you can now have completely autonomous cars in Florida. Does that mean that they drive self driving? Yes, self driving. Before you had to be, uh, it had to have a person like behind the behind wheel. the wheel, and now I guess starting July first, it doesn't. Yeah, but do they have cars that? that- I don't know. It says one. No, no. I guess not. Once the technology is up and running, self-driving cars could be operated by semi truck routes, rideshare services without oh, a driver. Because that's what I want: is semi trucks that don't have drivers. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. Right. Jeez. New law will go into effect July first. Safety is a major concern when discussing self-driving vehicles. But blah blah blah. Asserted advancements in autonomous vehicle technology will actually make the roads safer. According to the bill itself, in the event of an accident, the vehicle uh, notifies law enforcement with important information regarding location and type of crash. So, <laughs> so like What's because the they can, that's fucking OnStar. Just because yeah. when you crash, it notifies somebody, <laughs> bitch. That don't make it safer. That'd be hilarious if it was like, yes, uh, yes, police. We uh, we have a car that's carrying marijuana, and it's like <laughs> if, the, if the car could like smell it and then like relay it. The back car to, can smell it. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> that's actually the that's, car's driving its fucking self. It gets, that's true. That's true. <laughs> That's actually uh, supposedly on the the books now too. They're working on passing that through with recreation for for weed. Oh, what they are? Yeah, they they floated a bill for recreation. I don't know if it's going to pass or how long it's going to take or whatever. But it's well, uh, we getting some stock. Well, let me know yeah. whenever I need to uh, re up at the pole. Yeah, this uh, this one and I over here we were talking today about investing, finding a good marijuana company to invest in now. You know, like. Take a thousand, two thousand dollars or something, and put it into stocks right. now, and yeah, get mean, it on the ground retire, floor. retire on weed. You know, <laughs> that'd be cool. But the uh, re- reason that that story stuck out to me is our first story is in Volusia County. Did you guys see this? The motorcyclist that got hit by lightning. I heard no. about it. I did not see it, but I heard about it. So, forty-five year old man is dead after lightning struck him while he was driving his motorcycle on That's the interstate. Crazy. Said it entered through his helmet, right? Mm-hmm. What? There's a picture of the helmet. I mean, it's just a fucking hole in the top. That's oh, my crazy. gosh. I bet you they're going to be making rubber helmets. <laughs> the motorcyclist was riding on I-95 in Florida Sunday afternoon when a lightning bolt struck the top of his helmet, causing him to lose control of his 2018 Harley. He was subsequently thrown from the bike, leading him to veer off the road and was killed in the process. Reports confirm that the victim was from North Carolina. His name is yet to be released. Think of now, how the odds. Yeah, because you got to think he's traveling at a high rate of speed down an interstate. At least 70. 75. And then a, light, a bolt of lightning hits him right on the top of the head Bullseye. at the exact second. Like, that's just. That leads me to that's, this. Uh, that leads me that to this movie. question. What was that movie? Oh, Final Destination. Yeah. Mm. Well, that could. That's a. Yeah, that's, that's just a crazy because it's like, why are you riding a motorcycle if it's if there's a storm? Because I wouldn't think it'd be safe to be I mean, on the road. Maybe it was his own no. just like a heat storm or something. Yeah. Well, yeah, but even when it's raining and stuff, a lot of motorcycles like you know wait stay the, under the bridge wait or the, something. Wait the bridge, yeah. The uh, the an- an- autonomous or whatever the hell it is law hasn't passed yet, so he wasn't able to <laughs> <laughs> turn it off. Well, that 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 was leading me to this question because I thought the same thing, and I'm like, do you believe in karma? The yeah, fuck did this crazy. guy do that he's <laughs> just fucking riding along, <laughs> minding his own business, and like, growl, fuck you, bitch. He didn't even see it coming, dude. It oh, no, just, how could you, dude? He's just... Like, dead instantly. Yep. Ugh. 
Well, and there's people that have been struck by lightning that have survived, so I don't know if maybe like the helmet made no. it worse. Have you seen pictures of people that have been struck by lightning? It's no. freaky, dude. What they look I've like? seen what it does to trees. I don't it, know like, how it does to it, a body. Like, it, it, you can see like where it, like, you know how lightning looks when it hits the ground and yeah, stuff, yeah, where yeah. it like spreads out yeah. and like got the little wires looking things coming mm-hmm. from it. But that's how the skin looks. Like it's burned into the skin. Mm-hmm. No like shit. That. Yeah. And like it stays like that the rest of your life. It's crazy. It's kind of badass. It's like you're it's burned your, internally. It looks like a tattoo. If almost. it's on your arm, yeah, that's kind of badass. Yeah. I got to Except I gotta for say. The, the massive amount of pain it causes yeah. for a while. Until- pain, pain heals. Chicks dig scars. <laughs> there was a guy that got struck by lightning, and he he can like sit out in the like thirty below weather. And the he became cold, a superhero. The cold, cold doesn't bother him. He got anymore. struck by lightning and got cold shield. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He became much. a fucking superhero because there was video of him outside snow blowing with in like his in his shorts. underwear. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hope I get struck by lightning. <laughs> oh no! Don't you don't, don't say you that. say that. Why? Take I'll get a cool and- fucking tattoo and have superpowers. And might be dead. <laughs> Let me might update be. your life insurance first. <laughs> might be. <laughs> like just maybe lean against a tree or something. Don't don't like just get full on struck. <laughs> full on struck. Uh, next story I got for you. We're in Daytona Beach where a naked man is accused of throwing urine at police. <laughs> He just threw it at him. He didn't put it in a squirt gun like the other motherfucker we read about. I don't know if he had an arsenal at his disposal. He was like, hold my piss. <laughs> hold my piss. He just peed in a cup and was like. Psh. So the story starts out with a quote. There's a man out here butt naked, exclaimed a woman speaking to a 911 operator after <laughs> witnessing a man wearing nothing but his birthday suit attempt to mm. enter a Circle K convenience store. When the 911 technician asked if the man was sporting any weapons, the caller said, no, he's nude. Nude, like very nude. <laughs> so, like, why are you walking around naked with a cup of piss? Like, I don't under. Yeah. Or did he like just piss and then throw it at the? I cup? Feel, like, I like picture him just holding his little like silly putty dick in his hand, just pissing in it, pissing in his dick. hands, and be like, Psst. "Oh, you know? I see what you're saying." He just cupped and, his cupped his balls. And yeah, then. just cupped it and was like. Psst. Circle K employees locked the store so he couldn't enter, and that's when he began <laughs> urinating on the doors. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's, <laughs> He's here's a lot piss. of piss. <laughs> Cops in the area quickly responded, but that's when the nude lewd dude reported, <laughs> re- reportedly turned his attention to the officers by allegedly trying to sling urine on them. I didn't write this, and I didn't proofread oh, my no. notes today. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like maybe, maybe he was slinging his junk. Maybe he was like... Like paint was, brushing it at him. And yeah, shit, like maybe like, he already had a piss stream going and he was like shaking it, <laughs> trying to get it further out. I don't know. <laughs> like the water hose. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. I have a very wide range. I wonder if you're pissing. If you like, you know how like when you put your thumb on a water hose, you can, oh no, and you can make it squirt farther. I wonder if you did that to your dick while you're you pissing. If your it dick would hole? just no, oh. well, just you put your thumb over it, some, and then like make it. Squirt that would further. have to be like a strong stream yeah. of piss. You have to have a lot of piss too. I guess <laughs> you try that and report back. <laughs> You know, you and, and I did realize this before I even say it, but you saying you have to have a strong stream of piss makes me think of my friend Kevin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, All right. No. Kevin yeah. is notorious for the length that he can piss. He's a oh, like standing far away from the champion yeah. toilet He's a pisser. Toilet shit. That's fucking fence. child's play, bitch. This motherfucker can piss over a fucking fence from like 10 feet away. Like he's what? got fucking, and it, sound, it sounds fake until you see it. And I've seen it. I've seen it. This motherfucker will stand in behind, like you're saying, in the bathroom. He'll stand back, like up against the wall, like he's pulling up from downtown. Could you, just to fucking prove a point. He could must you be have, shooting ropes. <laughs> could you imagine if you walked into a bathroom, you saw a guy standing up behind, far back? <laughs> <laughs> what, what if you don't Arching realize it? it and you walk under the arc? <laughs> And then you look up and you see the fucking stream over your head and you're like, what the fuck? And he's like, don't move, player. <laughs> no, because you know some of those little droplets be droplets. dropping off. Well, yeah, Get some piss would, particulate in the air. When you lose the force of the stream, it's going to just... Just fall? Yeah, don't yeah. make him laugh. <laughs> and then it'd be like... Psst, 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 psst. Don't make him laugh. I, I've seen that shit firsthand. This dude's fucking got some... Dick propulsion. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the two cops attempted to subdue the suspect by commanding him to stop. When the man... <laughs> that uh, always works. Yeah, right? <laughs> when the man allegedly made rude gestures, the third officer tackled him from behind, and he was also allegedly sprayed with mace. Police filed several charges on the man that they're calling John Doe after he was taken to the hospital for evaluation. Don't want mace in the dick hole. Oh. No, you definitely don't want mace in the dick hole. <laughs> uh, and he tackled him, too. 
I bet that had to be a funny scene. Where's those pitches at? <laughs> Where those pitches? I didn't see it. Though. He scrapes my balls. Oh, I didn't even think about that. If he tackles them and then, ooh, peeing on the concrete. Oh. You know what? You get what you fucking get, though, dude. I mean, like, you're pissing on fucking Circle K and oh, shit. Oh, I don't blame him. I, I mean, I don't. Yeah, I just. I walking just, around naked. Pains. Yeah, that well, just sucks. Walk, walk around naked in Daytona Beach. I mean, dude's just having the fucking time of his life pissing <laughs> on buildings and shit. <laughs> then he gets naked. his dick broke off. Broke dick. That ain't nothing to fucking joke about. No, either. we know someone that broke their dick. <laughs> Dennis Rodman. <laughs> well, we know real people that broke their real's dick. Real people. He's not a real Dennis person. Dennis Rodman is real? We think he's a fucking unicorn? <laughs> no, I mean, like, we Josh actually like know one. somebody. You don't I know, know Dennis, Dennis Rodman. You know you do not. All right, dude. Whatever. What, you be going like North Korea with him and shit? Uh, I have not been to North Korea, <laughs> no. <laughs> but I would if he asked me. <laughs> oh, jeez. But you wouldn't? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to North Korea. Why? I'd be afraid I wouldn't be able to leave that bitch. Whatever, dude. You play basketball, you eat some fucking food, you have a good time. Whatever. King, Don't leave. King, Threaten King, me with a good time. <laughs> what is it? Ken, Ken Jong or whatever his name is? He'd be like, he'd be like, put that. No, Ken Jong is the guy from the fucking Hangover. Well, what? Okay. The- Kim Young, Kim Young, whatever the fuck his name is, I Yong know. I so, so the guy from Ken Jong, the guy from The Hangover, you're telling me is the tyrannical fucking leader of North Korea? <laughs> yes. No, I'm just saying I can't. Mr. Remember. Chow, that's what you're afraid of, Mr. Chow. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jason. Titusville, Florida. Okay. Florida man said that a woman at the gym liked to watch him okay isn't that why you go to the gym no i go to the gym to watch the women oh i was gonna say let the women watch you and i'm like sure so wait so the woman said a man liked to watch her no no oh no 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 no, no. i've never heard a man complain about a woman staring at that never titusville police officers were sent to the gym last week to check out a disturbance what they found was actually disturbing <laughs> they said <laughs> your reactions are everything <laughs> we need to get on youtube <laughs> they said they said a man was masturbating in public but there was a twist, not on his grip. Ooh, <laughs> the twisty man, grip. <laughs> fucking Indian burn that dick. Oh, no. The man told officers that the woman in the gym liked to watch him. Masturbate Poli- in public? Yes. Poli- You're in public. Police did not agree. According to the report, the saga <laughs> unfolded when officers arrived at the gym around 5 a.m., and this is what they saw. A middle-aged man sitting on the block directly across the street staring at a woman working out. Okay. The suspect was making a, quote, vigorous motion with his right arm near his genital region, <laughs> according to the arrest report. The gym, Healthy Evolution Fitness, is in a strip mall that has large windows that give a direct view into the workout area. Like it should. Like, <laughs> like it should. <laughs> when he spotted the patrol car nearby, the man later identified as Arthur Lewis Dispro, stood up and tried to conceal his crotch. Cops say he did not succeed because he was letting it all hang out. <laughs> Then there was a crack pipe in his shirt pocket, the report said. <laughs> of course Still there was. that in there. Back at the station, police said the 55-year-old suspect admitting that he was smoking crack and... <laughs> <laughs> Jerking off. <laughs> and, then, and then used a vibrator when he noticed that the, the victim was watching. Next to his crack pipe. <laughs> Pause. Pause. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. As a man, and you're jerking off in public... The fuck you doing with a vibrator? You put it on the base of your ball sack. I guess that's what he was doing. Is that's that what, what you do? do? Is that what you do? That's what I would I've do. I've never heard of that before. Is that a thing? Am I that vanilla I mean, that I've I don't never... know about vibrating I've your balls? I've done that to you before. <laughs> well, that's just me. <laughs> that's just me and you. I know, but I'm just saying You've also punched good. me in the fucking mouth. I mean, I've never punched you. Yeah, Everything's been yeah, open hand. Maintain that. Maintain that. <laughs> Everything's been open hand. Okay. When I go to the police, there's a fucking record, okay? Of what? Of, of fucking no spousal records. abuse. Whatever. They won't believe you. They probably won't. Mm-hmm. Always believe the woman always, right, Jay? I got right. these big puppy dog guys. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I had a boss that used to tell me I had my eyes look like anime character. I, that sounds a lot skinnier, but he said he liked my eyes because they know. looked like anime. I know. Somebody wanted some. Yeah. The <laughs> you didn't get it. Fucking asshole at PetSmart. Yeah, that was him. <laughs> I don't forget, okay? <laughs> you do forget. Just not important shit. <laughs> yeah. Like people that not have old shit. Me. Like new <laughs> shit you forget. Not old Short-term shit. Short-term memory is fucking really bad. <laughs> Dispro said the exerciser in question was someone that he had seen before and that she was quote freaky and that she liked to watch him. Mm, well, okay. That was she his, might be. That was it. Well, apparently not if she called the fucking popos. Oh. Well. Oh. Maybe she's just having a bad day possible right because bitches be crazy yeah i saw a vice story the other day actually on facebook where they were talking about um like women 
searching for stuff like on Pornhub or whatever, like mm-hmm. actually search like crazy shit, like yeah. like brutal shit, like really? like I was telling her like, like fantasy rape and like yeah. I think it was um, the episode you weren't here. I was bondage her and oh, yeah. all kinds of stuff you like that. Like that, and I said I've had fantasies, but like I've never fantasized about being. Like, that's what I told her. I said, right? "Dude, that's common as fuck for women, dude. They all." I'm like, "That's crazy." Yeah, but then if it happened, they wouldn't. They'd freak the fuck out. Yeah, I don't think panties would get wet. I mean, I'm sure some dude tried to rape women them. that have had you know Raping stuff like that happen. Of course, but they're just they were explaining that just like you know regular women where that hasn't happened to them or stuff right. like that, like fantasize about. It. I'm like, oh, that's kind of weird. You think mm-hmm. uh, you think Jameis Winston search it out. searches for rape rape fantasies? Mm-hmm. I, I don't even want to go into any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm fucking fishing here, man. Where's Jesus the crab Christ. legs? Where's the crab legs? Crab, 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 crab. <laughs> uh, next one I got for you is Newport Ritchie, where a Florida man with cocaine on his nose tells deputies that it's not his. Seems legit. It's just powdered sugar, Jane. <laughs> Hold it for a friend. <laughs> it's just powdered sugar. We fucking had a crazy night at Dunkin' Donuts. Bitch, I was I was baking a cake. I like I, these powdered donuts. Mm, damn. <laughs> That'd be Lucas. <laughs> yeah. I was just telling Jason about that. I said the, the la- couple weekends ago, I came downstairs oh, on yeah. a Saturday, and I just hear Run the Jewels playing out of, out of the, the TV. Fast. And run them, run them I look over fast. at the couch, and there's powdered sugar handprints everywhere. <laughs> a bag of fucking empty, or an empty bag of donuts on the ground, and he's just like rocking out. He's like dancing and shit. And I'm like, what happened here? It looks like a fucking crime scene with donut shit. There's fucking powdered sugar everywhere. And why are you listening to Run the Jewels? Like, it's his favorite fucking band. He's a little gangster. <laughs> oh, I live with the elegance of an African elephant. I yeah, mean, spit that. You gotta think, you know, all that sugar is a drug to him, like, at that point, you know? Yeah, you're so right. He's like, it's drugged all of us, Jason. <laughs> he's just jumping off the walls. <laughs> yeah, he does that. Uh, Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office said two deputies pulled over a car and noticed that the passenger, Fabricio Jimenez, had a white powdery substance on his nose. Uh, Jimenez's nose was swabbed, and the substance tested positive for cocaine. Oh, I guess it was a powdered donut. So. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Sheriff's office said they also found a backpack in the car containing 250 grams of marijuana and 13 Xanax. He was fitting to have a good ass time. Hmm, yeah, he was. <laughs> he's like, Picking I need something to come down off this high. <laughs> I was just gonna say that's all counteracting shit. Mm-hmm. That's all counterproductive. Like he's gonna do lines. Yeah, but and if then you want to get, yeah, but if you want to get fucked up, and you yeah, want to be able to come up, down and then go back then up and down. then come down and go back up. That sounds exhausting. <laughs> and you just do a little bit of fucking in between. <laughs> Shit. It's a good day. A Coke dick? No, Coke dick would be like... Pew! That's not how Whiskey it works, right? Whiskey dick is... No, th- that's the thing with no, cocaine. Coke, yeah, Coke doesn't. Really? It's, yeah, yeah. Th- that's what's oh. so fucked up about it is because it makes you want to fuck, but you can't because your dick don't work. Damn. Maybe that's what the weed was for, though. Weed's for that? Weed dick? Weed dick? I don't know. I don't know. I had weed dick in some years. It sounds like we have to do an experiment. <laughs> Deputy said they found a small bag of cocaine on him and his during the search, and he told them that the cocaine on his nose wasn't his. <laughs> I gotta see in the. the well, like, it, it, he could be right. I mean, technically. Why? Yeah. Could have been somebody else's coke. He just sniffed it. <laughs> Some bitch was sniffing it in her pussy. <laughs> so, you know, it, technically, know. it could not have been him. Doing tandem lines with your fucking buddy and shit. Mm-hmm. Jerking each other off, Dust Rudder style and shit, and Maybe. both doing simultaneous lines off each other. Right. right? Maybe. Get that know. butt crack. Get that butt crack, she says. <laughs> Isn't that where you normally snort coke? I don't normally snort coke. <laughs> if you'd like to be, you know what? And I'm afraid of coke because I think I'd like it. I th- I really do. Yeah. I, I I'm I'm scared of fucking coke, man. Like I. Yeah, it makes you happy. It makes you. No, it just makes me go. Like it opens my yeah. fucking brain and like, all right, let's get some shit done. You know, that's why I've been asking for Adderall for the last fucking year. I know Riley's got it. All those fucking kids got it. <laughs> all those kids have fucking Adderall, and all I do, I just send me some. Well, he won't know. fucking do it, stingy motherfucker. Well, he needs it. Called a felony. <laughs> <laughs> Who's worried about that? He works for Tony Stark, for Christ's sake. He needs to come down here and bring some with him. Come on down, Cotton Candy. Whoa. Let's take a break. After these messages, we'll be right back. Check out Who's Right with Doug and Anthony. We got it. <laughs> Just days before an SUV carrying a family of eight plummeted from a cliff in Northern California. <laughs> <laughs> this is something I can rally around. You know, because I am anti-dead hooker. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> if, if I, I like I... my hookers a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds weird, doesn't it? <laughs> 
I don't want to edit this. If you want to edit this shit, then go ahead. But I there's just take out the shit that will get, will get me fired. If I Whatever. were to if I were to say that word, that, that would word. be what our podcast would be known for. We've been doing this for seventy episodes. That'd be it. Our our we are racist, and you would be dragged right down with me. We no, are. I would be there fighting the power, man. <laughs> I would prove the critics wrong and and catch the jungle fever. From that logic, if you follow that out, I can make fun of of many handicapped people all I want as long as I don't call them a certain word. Right. That's not that's not the <laughs> oh <right>. not right. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the lesson that I would teach my kids. <laughs> Just don't make fun of mentally handicapped people. <laughs> I think you pretty much got the gist of it. You're you're a shit bag. <laughs> Check out who's right at who's right podcast dot com. I'm wrong, you're wrong. Everybody sing this song, talk it on over, and we'll find out who's right. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? Stop what you're doing and listen, listen. listen. Yo, this is Joe B. And this is Billy C. Of the NE Podcast. And you're listening to the Hashtag No Offense Show. Fuck Florida. Only on the Inner Circle Podcast Network. Fuck Tampa. <laughs> it's fucking coming down out there. It's not that bad. Up oh, shit. It's pouring. Is it? At least it's not lightning. Yeah, at least it's not a lightning. Motorcycle. At least you ain't outside mm-hmm. yet, motherfucker. Crack that bitch open. I want to see how you I was going to do it when the... Oh, I'm, I'm going. Oh. I'm going. Got a... Oh, yeah. Got a fucking Pabst Blue Ribbon hard coffee. It smells like coffee, that's for sure. Swig that. Tell me if you like it. I know you will. Oh, damn. That's good. That's <laughs> fucking good, right? <laughs> damn, that is good. Awesome. Do they sell this shit at the store? About to be. Oh, so it's... Dang, it's, you got an exclusive. Ooh, yeah, I'm drinking it for the public. Dang. Yeah, yeah. You, well, you know somebody, so... Oh, damn. Exclusive. Dude. This is, how many calories are in this shit? Because this shit is good. I'm probably willing to say a lot. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Fucking get, yeah. Take, take a picture of two with that fucking Paps coffee. That doo-doo brown can. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be expensive as fuck, though, dude. It's, I bet it will be. It's going to be like ten ninety nine for four of them. Are you serious? Mm. Wow. Damn, I could drink four of these in like 10 minutes, if that. <laughs> well, don't do that. <laughs> but it's good, bro. <laughs> it is fucking good. <laughs> that, that Has it got caffeine, I'm assuming, in it? I don't know about all that. I was told by my boss not to pay attention when the guy was presenting it to us because what? we didn't really want to. We, we didn't really want to take on too oh, much of a responsibility right. with it. I remember you were saying that. Uh, yeah. Oh, so I'm, are we? Uh, should I not have like? No, uh, no. I mean, it's too, we're gonna too late sell now. It. Yeah, it's too late now. We're gonna fucking sell it. God, yeah. this is good. Yeah. Fuck. I told you you would like it. I'll drink one and shove one in my ass at the same time. <laughs> Damn. Like Galonics. <laughs> fucking co- going through supposedary. both ends. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking crazy. Yeah, so we were going to take a little show field trip today. Yeah. And, and it almost worked for all of us. Fuck. I was so excited when, because I just assumed that you weren't going to be off work today. You right. Know? And you just happen to be uh, off of work today. So I was like, fuck it. We're going to do something. I mean, let's, for once in our life, do something together as a show. Sure. You yeah. know? Mm-hmm. And the universe said, fuck you guys. Right? Either that or two did. Because, I mean, <laughs> fucking, he's supposed yeah. to be here in, in an hour and he's still asleep. So I, mean, I, don't, <laughs> I really think he wanted to go too much anyway. Beth said he set his alarm for Saturday. Yeah. Well, I just looked at the time <laughs> uh-huh. and I, I turned it on, but I didn't realize that what was day? the Monday through Friday time. Can I say something to you? You're what? a grown man. <laughs> And you don't know how to fucking set an alarm on your phone. Was, you're a grown up. My bad. You're a grown up. It was. Thank you're a grown up. Did you uh, did you stay up late last night or something? No, I actually went to bed like at twelve or something. So no, I didn't. He stay just up. likes to sleep. Yeah. Well, well and he... I normally don't get uninterrupted sleep, so it was weird because when she came <laughs> and woke me up. <laughs> When you know, because when she woke me up, I was like, "It's nine thirty. What time are you supposed to meet them?" And I was like, "Uh, ten thirty. She's like, "Oh, okay, yeah." Um, she you get, need up. To get up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, then we, you know, you were just going to meet us up at the place, and then we're on our way there, and you had a little bit of misfortune on the way there, and ended up not being able to to go with us. Yeah. So I had had car troubles a couple months ago, and so I you know, got a new battery and put the new battery in and mm-hmm. everything, you know, everything was working fine. And then for some reason today, um, you know, cause I took the interstate down and, um, I don't know if it was just over time or what, but anyway, I, I pulled into the gas station and park, called the roadside assistants, had them come out. 
Um, they hooked up my truck. We brought it to the to the body shop or whatever, dropped it off, went back home. And then, like, right after we got back home, they, the body shop calls, and they're like, uh, yeah, so one of your connectors to your battery was completely off, and we charged it, and everything's fine. I'm like, damn, because I thought it was my alternator or something. Because right. I was having problems, you know, a couple months ago. And, no, it just... That's him not wanting to go, dude. No, he pulled it's the not. fucking thing off the battery. No, I that's did all. Not. That's all it was. No, if can bitch, you believe it? My battery wasn't connected. Yeah, that's, my what I, didn't drive. that's what I wanted to do. Call roadside assistance and sit in a hot well, ass truck for an hour and a half. Well, that's actually why I brought it up because I, when I was texting with him at the restaurant, he was like, "And I gave the tow truck driver a hashtag no offense card. And yeah, told business him if you card. Want to yeah. Call in. Tell well, us well, some stories. He was telling me shit like while we were you know driving, driving back home yeah. and." uh or driving to the body shop, so he was a cool dude. But anyway, so I, he's you know gave him the card, and he's like he's like I'll hold you to it. I'm like all right, man. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so and then what what do you think I said to Jason? Bro, I fucking hate tow truck drivers. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So, and that's exactly what I said. I said, oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I was like, it wasn't even like three months ago. I had a fucking uh, episode at the tow We've place. Had two episode. We had two episodes. Your car and my car. Same company, right? Yeah. Same motherfuckers. motherfuckers. Goddamn headhunting bitch ass. Fuck. Get a real fucking job. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Mm. Motherfuckers. <laughs> what? Yeah, but call in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm glad it was just that, and not anything else. Yeah. No, I was too, because I mean that's the last thing I need to spend money on is something like that. So. And last thing you want to spend money on, because you want to spend money on a fucking car repair, nobody. Yeah. That's the well, worst thing about that, because you're basically paying for something you already have. Right. You know what I mean. I hate yeah. that shit. I mean, I guess the good side of look about you know my truck's paid off, so I don't have to worry about a car payment. But still, it's like you know it's always sucks still when that sucks. happens. But yeah, like yeah, word. So it pissed me off because I really wanted to do that shit today. Well, they didn't well, charge me didn't... the fee, so that was good. Oh well, that the is good. Cancellation fee because when I got there, I'm like, hey, one <clears> of our the other guy couldn't make it. I know there's a cancellation fee, and he's well, like, we never oh, don't actually worry even said it. what we were doing. We were going to float. Yeah, we were going to the uh, the Tampa Tampa float. Meditation is that what it was called? I think it's just Tampa, Tampa, Floats. Tampa Floats. Floats. Yeah, it's like wellness. It's a wellness center. Tampa Floats Wellness. That that, that sounds um, right. Deprivation. Doing the doing the float tank thing, man. Like anybody that's listened to Joe Rogan ever has heard about float tanks ad nauseum. Mm-hmm. And I've been wanting to try it ever since I listened to Rogan back in the day. Right. Never got around it. Never got around it, and just said, "Fuck it, dude. We're gonna we're gonna go see what it's all about." Mm-hmm. And it was a, it was a great it was a great experience for yeah, that first was time. Fun. It was a. Uh, the the rooms were awesome, and it was just they just have the three rooms with the they have two pods and they just have like an open room, and then they have one room that has the infrared. So since we booked all three things, infrared sauna, yeah, since we we booked all three like rooms for the float, we had the whole place to ourselves. But it's really neat. It's just <clears> like you would think it's all relaxing, and they had like salt rocks in this room and. They have this huge chalkboard everybody writes on. It's just mm-hmm. like good energy, you know. The dude in the front desk was real cool, mm-hmm. and it was. Um, and it, I was reading the rules because I'm like, okay, let me see what we got to do. You're not supposed to shave before, like, twelve hours before you go. You're not supposed to color your hair and do all that kind of stuff. But the one thing that he was most interested in is if you can go naked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I called her yesterday after we had made the appointment and like we had worked it out. We were going. I called her up and I was like. Do you think that you could call and find out if, like, because at first I asked her, I was like, what do we need to bring, you know, like, or what right. do we need to wear? And she was like, I imagine just like a bathing suit. And I said, fuck that, dude. I said, can you call and find out, like, if <laughs> we can just go naked? Well, and she got on their website and she was looking at, like, the frequently asked questions, whatever. And right. she's like, it says here that they, That's it's very private yeah. and they recommend you go naked. I was like, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> she, she, I got so pumped up. I'm like, yes, fucking dick out through the galaxy. See, that's what I'm that, looking can't for. Can't go down because my dick could float. <laughs> <laughs> I was super pumped about that, man. Did the dick stay underwater or did it float above the water? Uh, I guess it was above, but I mean, like, I don't know. Like, mine, I, well, we'll, we'll I wonder, we haven't even talked about it we are between us, like our experiences oh, or whatever. Okay. But I just have a super feeling that mine was way more psychedelic of an experience than hers. And I think that that's got something to do, like like with the cookie, like the New Jersey cookie. I think it was a manifestation. Like, cause I, I went into it with that in my mind. Like, right. I wanted it to be that way. Sure. So I think that it kind of went that way. Okay. Where I think she was just going in to, to go and to see. Did you go to sleep? 
<laughs> That's what I was doing. She was just. Did you to, sleep? She was just wanting quiet. I, I didn't sleep. I just was in there, just relaxing. But like charged I think all the way down. It's crazy to think how hard it actually is to get your body to relax. Because even though you know that you're floating, I could still feel that I'm tense. So then it's right. like it. It's hard to let you just like you know go. Well, no. that was harder than you think. Well, that was actually one of the things under the frequently asked questions was. Uh, you know, they were. It was saying that you know the first couple of times you do it, you're more tense. No, and that. Well, no, I'm just saying, which kind of relates to her. Maybe not with you. You're, you're I not was used butter to on it. a summer right. day, you're just baby. Not used to it, so I had to tell myself just like <laughs> yeah, just let like, go, let, and, just let yeah. go. Well, he showed us those pillows, those floating pillows. It wasn't and just my, my head though; it was my arms and my legs. Well, no, what I was going to say was even in my mind when he showed us that, I was like, "Fuck you! I ain't using that fucking pillow. I don't want nothing touching me, dude. Because I just want to fucking." He <laughs> said that people's reactions are like hold their head up. Because uh, you're in water. Yeah, right? yeah. Your normal reaction is that it yeah. would go underwater. But I mean, I wish the tanks were a little bit bigger, though. The pods that we were in, because like if you put your arms out, you're kind of touching the walls. You're but supposed it's to do snow angels. But it's also <laughs> interesting because like if you relax your body, your arms naturally go like this. Like they go up above your head. Oh, okay. So then you're laying like with your arms above your head like this. But then like I was trying different things. Like I would cross my legs to see how. It would affect my body, like with because they, he said when we were going in there, it's pretty much like a slow massage because you're not laying on anything, and which is true because I can feel my vertebrae like expanding as I'm laying there because you're huh. not really laying on anything, you're just right. floating there. So then I crossed my feet to see how that would affect my body, and that affected like my hips and my lower back. Okay, and then I would put my hands like behind my head, like I was doing a sit up, and then that would expand my shoulder and my upper back. Huh. So I was trying in different positions to see. I knew that I was, oh, dude, this is so not at all what I did. I know, it's like not what you did. But then I'm like, because, you know, I'm floating, so obviously my tits are above the water. So yeah, they're, they're cold. So, and then my feet are cold because my toes are up. So I kept dipping my feet into the water. So you were present. That's like, because you're. Well, I know, because my tits were cold, and then my feet was cold, so I put my feet in the water, but I couldn't do nothing about my tits, so I just took some water and was like rubbing them on my tits for the, nice. to warm them up. Oh, was, yeah. But then the water was slimy because it was all salty, so I had like tit slime, and I was dipping my feet under the water, and I'm like, I wonder what it'd be like if I turned around on my belly. So then <gasps> oh, God. Yeah, I hope you didn't. Did you do that? I didn't put my face in the water. <gasps> Did you? No, I didn't. Oh, my God. I, I turned was on say, my yeah. belly. <laughs> No, I turned around to be on my stomach, and then I kept my face above the water. But then, because you're floating, so my body was like in a total like U shape. <laughs> <It> was totally <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm like, you know, like this or whatever. I wish dude, I wish I could have stood outside your door and just heard all the commotion in that fucking pod. Like, doof, 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 doof. like you come by mine, like it's fucking nothing, dude. Well, yeah. I was I was in the fucking center yeah. of the galaxy, and dude, then I was but... like moving my body like a snake, like. I was slithering through the water. I was going like this. Fucking. <laughs> I was moving my hips and stuff, and I'm just like going like this. And, Sit, then, oh. and then my head would hit the side of the pot. I was like, okay. What's wrong with well, you? I got to move back to the middle, so then put my arms out. I wonder out. if you could fuck in a float tank. Dude, I wouldn't want salt in my pussy. That'd be, oh my God. I mean, it wouldn't it already burr. be in there anyway. I mean, it is a hole. <laughs> well, my <laughs> vagina isn't constantly open. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> it's not like there's a steel door there when it's, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm sure water makes its way it's up. It's definitely not like there's a steel door there, babe. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like, you know, sometimes you got to like run your finger down it to, you know, open it up a part little bit. Part the curtains. Yeah, I mean. part the curtains a little bit. You're doing a visual aid and this is an audio medium. I'm doing visual aid for y'all. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was trying all so kinds the, of stuff. When, and when we first got there, it was very like it was very weird because she went out of her way to tell the guy that we weren't on drugs. And now, because <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about Joe Rogan, and the, I said I read your website that it says to not do drugs, but I'm sure Joe Rogan does plenty of drugs. But now hearing what you did in there. <laughs> It sounds like you were fucking. <laughs> she didn't even need drugs. Though. She, was on, she was on something, man. <laughs> and and I say that, but mine was all in my head. 
And like, yeah. Mine, well, you can hear your heartbeat too because it's so quiet. That's how mine so started. Couple, mine started couple. because I was very. I read. I watched a couple videos about like first time, what to expect, and this and that. And I read some things, and it said like to really get into the deep relaxation, to just concentrate on your breathing and to to focus on that. <laughs> and it was really weird because like. I, I was focusing on the in and the out and all that. And then right. all, all of a sudden it was just like that went away and I could just hear like, like she said, like a, like a heartbeat and it was faint at first and then it was getting louder and louder. And it reminded me, you put your plugs in. It, mm. it, it reminded me of uh, the beginning of dark side of the moon. You know, okay. how it comes on with the fucking heartbeat right. and shit. Yeah. Like I'm, uh, it was, it was kind of just a trippy thing to hear my own, my own heart like that. And then that went away. Okay. It was, it was the, the wor- the, the weirdest fucking thing. Once the heartbeat went away, it kind of like, just went down to like a low, like a hum, like a low hum. Mm-hmm. Did you get that? No. So like I just had I was like, moving around, so there was like a snake for an hour. <laughs> I just I, about my cold ditties. I just had that. It was like it was like just just not even like white noise, but just like a like a very dull like zzz, mm-hmm. you know in my in my mind. And so did you go to the upside down? Like damn. The, the, and, and don't think I didn't try, dude. Don't don't think I wasn't fucking because we just got through watching all Stranger Things. Don't think I didn't fucking try. Um, the best, like the the, I thought this in the the moment that once once like I I emptied out my mind and everything. It's it's like if you you ever have a laptop that you don't turn on for a while okay. and then you turn it on and all of a sudden all the fucking downloads for or the updates right, for right. like ever just hit at once. Mm. It felt like my brain just got fucking turned on and like fucking I just had a massive amount of downloads coming into my brain. Like it was just like fucking whoa. What was it downloading? Whoa. I have no idea. But like I'm I'm, Aliens. I'm fucking thinking to myself like about different things, you know, like I'm trying to like 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 I say, I'm trying to fucking put out the beacon and shit. Like say, <laughs> hey y'all, I'm here. What's up? Let's let's interface. Hey, you know? Galactic Command. <laughs> let's fucking interface, man. But nothing like that was really happening. So then I was just trying to focus on what what was happening, you know, and focus on the hum, and I'm focusing on like just you know what what was going on, and that's when I really started feeling like the weightlessness, you know, yeah. like. Just fucking it's like pitch black. Well, yeah, and I mean, I did part. I opened my eyes just to see what it's like, and I closed them, and it was no different. Like it's fucking oh, the it's same, that same. Dark. Yeah, it's that dark. It's, it's almost like you get the, the, or I did anyway. Like without moving and slithering, <laughs> I got the sensation like I was spinning. You know, like like doing somersaults almost, like end over end. Okay, like I, it, it, complete weightlessness. I there were times where I couldn't like couldn't really tell if I was horizontal or vertical. Like I was just like completely like I felt like I was wobbling and weebling and I was just, I was straight, man. Hmm. It was fucking crazy, dude. I was tripping the fuck out, man. Like, and then that kind of made me feel like almost like I was flying, you know, because like I, I wasn't laying there anymore. Like right. it just felt like you're just drifting, you know? It's, well, yeah, I got that too. Cause it's, you know, but with, the the massage feeling of it with my spine it almost feels like you're laying on something but you're not so he's saying he felt weightless i'm saying that i knew i was floating but i can still feel like the the pressures of my spine separating now you didn't have any type of any type of visuals or anything did you no no so i'm 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 laying there through the through this you know as i'm feeling like i'm flying and this, I mean, before I even say this, it's going to sound fucking weird, but I had or made up. <laughs> Go ahead. Do, do I lie to you? <laughs> no. Do I, I mean, I'm just saying that it's just I don't I don't know how you would have. Visions. So I'm I'm not saying I'm having visions. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm telling you, I'm fucking seeing something when I'm laying there. Is that a vision? Uh, no, a Jason? vision to you with your fucking ghost adventure fucking paranormal activity shit is a fucking vision. Right. I'm telling you, I'm seeing, okay. and I'm laying there, and it it looked like outlines of people, like two people, one on the left, one on the right, like looking over. Like I'm like lo- looking at you? Like looking, like almost like to check and see what was going on, and then backing away, <laughs> and then check to see what was going on, and then backing away. And that lasted for, I don't know, a couple of minutes or whatever, and then it just stopped. It just went away. While your eyes were closed? While my eyes were closed. So oh. I, it, was, it was fucking weird, you know? And then I just started thinking about shit, you know? Like, I'm just like, okay, I'm here now. And, they, you know, I'm alone with my thoughts. And that's the whole thing that you're supposed to do, you know? So then just start, okay, 
like just going through the fucking my, my my mind is loud anyway you know i always got a lot of shit running through my mind mm-hmm. you know so then i'm like let's let's break all that down let's break all that noise down and let's just go one thing at a time let's go check box check box check box you know like i don't know just it, it really really helps to clear the noise you know and just start thinking about okay what can i do better at what what am what am i sucking at what you know all of that shit you know what i mean like you I didn't do any of that go, no i was trying to go to sleep jesus christ and then i was like <laughs> my tits are cold <laughs> My toes are cold. Well, my dick was out. I'm flying through the universe with my dick out, but I never even, I never once crossed See, my mind it, that it, it was cold it the, or anything. Maybe that's what the people were doing. They were looking over and going, oh, look at his little leader. <laughs> <laughs> the people. <laughs> Might have been. I don't know. No, because they said that the water is like pretty close to your body temperature, which it is. <clears throat> I just wish it was maybe a little warmer. I, I don't know. I was just laying there. I didn't there. see any shadow people. It was only in the beginning. Is was, that like supposed to how you're supposed to feel like i guess in the space station or whatever the, like the space station well yeah like the weightlessness is that oh you know, when you're in space oh uh, <laughs> yeah i don't know yeah gravity? i hear a lot of those people get messed up though when they're up there for so long because then when they come back the gravity just pulls on their organs and everything really yeah that's yeah, why makes he sense. said when they have the little room in the beginning or like in the front and it has like a fish tank and a salt rock in there it's like a that's what he's like you can't come in here and just kind of chill for a minute to get like all your get your bearings back, back and shit yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. huh because well, it, it is weird cool. when you get out because even when we were sitting at lunch like i could still feel just kind of like weightless a right. little bit you know because mm-hmm. and all the salt because you get the benefits of the magnesium from the salt in your my skin skin's, feels great yeah your skin's so, <laughs> uh, skin is so soft <laughs> One thing Jason and I were talking about, and I, I tried to do this with you, but now I know why it didn't work because you were fucking trying to take a nap and I was trying to fucking explore the cosmos and shit. Mm-hmm. I was like, dude, what if we were next to each other and our subconscious is shot out of our body like Dr. Strange style and then we were able to like meet up like our spirit selves were able to meet up and go have adventures and shit. <laughs> so um, we we just we've been watching Stranger Things. We just finished our watch through tonight for getting ready for season three. And that's how... That's how Eleven finds the people, you know, she goes into the deprivation tanks mm-hmm. and then she goes into where all that black water is and then she finds the people and shit. I'm like concentrating mm-hmm. super hard on you and shit. I'm like, fucking, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pop in there. I'm going to pop in there. And it didn't work. I mean, probably no. cause I'm retarded and I'm, <laughs> I don't have that extra sensory fucking could ability, you, but could you imagine if we did try that and say it, say it had, say like we thought that that happened and then we were talking to each other and then like we knew like, yes. That's what like, I was hoping. Then, then, like, we talk and we're like, "Hey, did this happen?" They're like, "No way." That's what I'm. Ho- wow. That's what I was hoping, man. <laughs> I, was, I wanted happened. to go on a goddamn fucking adventure with y'all, man. <laughs> but they were saying, "Do like some." She's people- in there doing somersaults. <laughs> Because the pod closes all the way. Mm-hmm. So, and he's like, if you're a little bit claustrophobic, you can leave it open. Fuck that. As soon as you leave that, get like open the pod after your hour's up or whatever, it is so fucking cold. I'm like, nobody's going to leave that, this I pod. I agree open. with. Because that's, that's how they let you know it's over. He turns the, the filter back on from the front. So, very like subtly behind you, you get like a little jet stream coming in, and that kind of lets you know, hey, your time's up. Oh, okay. So, mm-hmm. once that once those jets come back on, I sat up and I hit the, I hit the light, and you know, I'm kind of kind of you know collecting myself i flipped the pet the hatch open and i was just like oh my god jumped out of that bitch quick as fucking ran straight to the shower I'm like, no. yeah there's showers in the room because you have to shower before you get in and then shower after get all done. the sludge off you pretty much because it's like if you have oils or lotion or makeup or anything you right. have to take all that off before you get in there okay i can't believe you didn't explore your your fucking self at all i mean i was just you didn't like lay there with your thoughts and shit. Trying like, to relax, yeah, but I mean, I really don't have any like thoughts. You, you know what? <laughs> you one, know, you know I'm just, one of the trying to relax, and I think I focus more on getting myself to relax completely. Yeah, well, that's yeah, that's why I was trying to like in the beginning, like focus on my breathing, because that's the, they say how to like really calm down and relax mm-hmm. yourself or whatever. You were trying to go into more a med- meditation state where I was yes. just trying to relax. Yes. Okay. And and I think it worked. I want I want to go back, and I'd like to go back in an enhanced. If it was closer, state. right? Because they have packages like a tanning booth where you or tanning bed that you can pay monthly and go back. But if it was closer, we'd definitely do it more. Well, they also said you could do that infrared sauna, yeah. before or after. And mm-hmm. I was wondering if you did it beforehand, if that would enhance your. I don't know if it would or Increasing not. Increasing your temperature yeah, like, or whatever. Well, yeah, I don't know if that, Maybe. and then getting in the water, like you know, like sweating out like a lot of stuff, and then. Then going in there and doing it. I don't know. But. Could be. It might. I think one of the... He said that we can use the sauna with that, too. So with the packages for mm-hmm. the monthly, you could do the sauna and the... 
I'm strongly Thanks. considering it. I mean, it is a little bit of a ride. It's all the way on North North Tampa or whatever, but I, I'm I'm really considering it because it's only fifty bucks a month. And he said if you don't use it like one month or whatever, it'll mm-hmm. roll over. So like you can go twice the next month. Well, was it by two thousand one? Huh? Was it by two thousand? No, it was way further north. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, way further. It was like Northdale. It was up by Bears. And yeah, so you could hit the Titty Club and then go to. The- <laughs> hey. Yeah, maybe that. Maybe some that, good visuals. <laughs> maybe that will put you in the right frame of mind, dude. Because like before we left, we watched that movie that I Am Mother that I was telling you about. Oh yeah. We watched that this morning, like before we left. So I like the whole way up there. I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm gonna be fucking seeing robots and shit. Like mm-hmm. that's what this whole thing's gonna be about. And it, it, it wasn't. But did you end up watching that? No, I like I said, I watched uh, two episodes of The Black Mirror, but I didn't get a What'd chance you think to watch it. I, I thought it was good. I, I, <laughs> what he I smiles. Was, I already well, know, no, dude. He know. just, he just smiles. Well, no, it was it, because I, you know, I had put it, um, I had put it on, and it was still on like the last season or whatever when I put it on on Netflix or whatever. So I was scrolling up, yeah. and so I just clicked the next one up, which was technically the third one. Mm. So I watched that one. And then um, I was watching. I was like, "Wait, why isn't it with the two dudes?" Because I I remember you telling me about the other episode, and then I ended up not being the one I you know I originally thought it was. And then after I got done watching that one, I then went and went up to the first one, and then I watched. So I watched that one too. I just just didn't watch the second (laughs) one. People didn't like the third one with with Miley Cyrus. I thought it was all right. I thought it was good. I liked it, man. I I like Miley. I thought the the episode, like the premise, was cool, man. Like, yeah, putting your consciousness into that toy or whatever, and then that's mm-hmm. how like ends up like that could have been if it was done a little bit better. That could have been a movie, you know? Right, right. Like that's how the whole thing fucking comes down because the toy has the consciousness and shit. Like that, that's fucking dope. I like that. But the fucking the one that stole the show <laughs> was ep- episode one, dude. And let's just talk about how they only dropped three at a time. That's a fucking cock tease, dude. Yeah, three was, three yeah. fucking episodes. Come on, we waited for how long? How, yeah, for how a while. fucking long? The first dude? one was the Mortal Kombat shit, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That was crazy. <laughs> you know what I was thinking though the whole time is I was like, oh god, I hope the kid doesn't walk in there and put it. You know, because remember the kid walked in one time and was kicking his dad, and that's what yeah. made him come out of the game. Yeah. And I was like, please don't tell me the kid ends up putting that thing on his head, and then the friend thinks oh, that. Oh shit. He well, is, I mean, they could communicate. He probably would talk to the kid. Uh, that's he would true. Just I guess come I running at him with a fucking aggressive heart on and start. I don't know. There was a couple times they <laughs> oh, jumped wait, right the in woman. the game, and the then woman. they just started. Yeah, but it was funny because before they had talked about it, I had I had told Chris, I'm like, how would it be for that guy to be a lady and then have the dick inserted into him? Like, how, as I wonder how that feels to him being. Well, a I dude. mean, they they kind of asked that, you know, because that was my she, yeah. She thought. brought she brought that up before it came up on the show. Even yeah. like she was just like, why would he want that? And I mean, like for those that don't know, episode one of uh, the new season of Black Mirror, it's about a virtual reality style game, like kind of like a uh, a Street Fighter or a Tekken style game, and you get in there and like you actually are the fighter. You know, you, you're you throwing punches everything. and you feel everything and this and that. And the guy and his buddy, uh, for whatever reason, just decided they were going to fuck. You know? Well, and it's like if, if you've watched any of the other Black Mirror episodes, it's kind of similar to the one it's the where same the little space. Button. Yeah, it's the mm-hmm. little thing on the temple. Mm-hmm. And um, remember the guy that, um, you know, where was... The Star Trek one? Yeah, the Star Trek yeah. one where they were going into the game. It's It's kind of the same premise. But yeah, this was just like if you were playing PlayStation or whatever with it. But... Interesting. It was, uh, yeah, it was really weird. You see that new meme that's that's floating around now? No. And it says, uh, uh, when your buddy asks you to play on Xbox Live after watching Black Mirror, and it's that little that little kid with making that face, like that fucking... Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, no, be fucked bitch. up if it was Soul Calibur and it was like fucking Ivy and Voldo going at it, dude. That would be fucked up. That's it's kind of essentially the same, the same thing. thing. I mean, no, I know, she's but she's just I, thinking about Voldo because all those got those the fucking blades and blades shit. And shit oh. You know, oh, God, look at that fucking <laughs> violent finger action, dude. She's stabbing I mean, like, pussies and shit. Edward scissor hands and stuff. Your insides would be toe up. Yeah, they would. That, Ivy, Ivy with that fucking like ice thing that, right that, up his butthole. That was funny though. With later on, the guy's like. You know, I fucked the bear. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> That's why I was tacking because there was a goddamn polar bear. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> it was it, it was it was pretty pretty interesting, man. I mean, like aside from the dude fucking his friend or whatever, like that kind of premise is cool, man. Like I hope that they eventually get to that that level. You know. Well, and then so what got me then. You know, was that I guess at the very end he explained to the wife what happened, and so then what? One day a year he gets to fuck 
That's so stupid. Friend on the game, and then she gets to go actually cheat. Yes, that's not fair. Like y'all got issues. If that was the case, I'd be like, Nah. If you're gonna fuck somebody in real life, you know, right? Whatever. But I'm not getting STDs. I can't get pregnant. I like how that's different. I like how they met up in the alley too. You know. Oh right, like here, like Like, met up in the real world. I gotta know. I gotta see if this is real. (laughs) Dude's like. (laughs) The yeah. cops show up. It was it was it was pretty bizarre, but I mean Black mm-hmm. Mirror typically is. Right. Um I was lo- I was looking at uh E three this past week to see if they had any little button temple things, <laughs> you know. No- nothing yet. Nothing Who are you wrong. trying to be fucking on the internet? <sighs> well, I don't know. Jason doesn't play games anymore. <laughs> well, if it comes to that, I ain't playing games. <laughs> He's anymore. so nervous right now. Look at him. He's like, fuck it, I'm canceling no, Xbox. I ain't, I ain't, I'm canceling Xbox. I ain't fucking my buddies on a game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just stick with Rocket League. <laughs> That would be cool. That would be a cool one to play. I feel like you're driving. Feel in a like car, you're actually driving or whatever. Flying. Yeah, but then you like. Yeah, but then you'll feel if you get in an accident. Psh, whatever. You respawn. <laughs> you respawn. Nah, because it, it's the way it affects your body in real life. So if you're like taking, you know, hard crashes, hard crashes, or dicks, you'd be you'd be waking up. Remember, you have blood coming through you, from your nose and. <laughs> Dang. Now the one that you didn't see the the episode two. That one was kind of my least favorite. Which one was that again? That was the one with the dude in the car. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, he was kind of like an Uber driver. Yeah. So this guy's kind of like an Uber driver, and he picks up uh, uh, an intern from this company, basically like their version of Facebook or whatever, and ends up taking him hostage. He drives him, you know, into the the country or whatever, and takes him fucking hostage. And the cops come, and there's a whole standoff and everything. And you find out, like, the whole thing is he wants to get the guy. Well, we'll just call it Facebook. He wants to get the guy who created it on the phone. Okay. And they can't find him because he's, like, on some fucking spiritual retreat, and he's away from phones and shit, so, like, they can't get him. And through all that, like, they're going through his story, and you find out that him and his wife were driving one night or whatever, and she was asleep in the passenger seat, and he got an alert on his phone from the fucking app and went down to check it, and then when he came back up, they crashed. had an accident. And then she died died or whatever. Okay. So he was like, he was kind of like blaming the company or whatever, you know, and he got ended up, ends up getting them on the phone and shit. And he's like telling them how like they purposely engineer the apps to be so addictive or whatever. And this and that, I don't know. It, I didn't really like it, but it kind of, it kind of hit close to home cause I'm on my phone a lot when I'm driving. Yeah, you are. So it, it right. I kind of, I kind of was like, mm, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be doing that, but I, I thought know. it was cool. Toe for grace was the guy. And he was all fucking weird. He had like a man bun and shit. And he was wearing, oh, really? he was wearing yeah. no shirt and linen pants and shit, mm-hmm. being all like fucking spiritual. And I whatnot. thought he looked good. I like the glasses that have the um, the thick frame on the top. Like oh, they come yeah, yeah. out and then mm-hmm. they're like clear. What is that? I don't know. Oh. The glasses that oh. he was wearing? Oh, well, I, mean, I thought he looked good. I didn't know. That's all I'm saying. That 70s show. Yeah. Well, yeah. he looks a lot better than he did back then because back then he was just scrawny. He still is. <laughs> He's not as scrawny. Okay. He's a little meaty. <laughs> yeah, but then, um, like I said, we ended up watching that movie, too, that uh, I wanted you to watch. And Hillary Swank is one ugly bitch. I guess that's the takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> she can look good when she wants to. I don't believe she can. I don't believe she can. I believe she's, she's got- incapable of looking good when she really wants to. Really bad man face. She's got the worst man face ever. Well, I mean... No, Jason does want to fuck his friends, dude. No, no, I don't. <laughs> you like man face. It's okay. I'm saying I've seen her look nice before. When did she look nice? I don't know. When? I, I didn't know I was going to be put on the spot. Tell me when. <laughs> I don't know. You know you're on her IMDB. You like that man face sympathizer. Tell me when she looked good. <laughs> Million Dollar Baby. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's the only movie I know her from. <laughs> she was in fucking one of them Karate Kids, wasn't she? Who fucking knows? I don't know. I sure fucking don't. But it was it was a good movie. The uh I Am Mother is uh, new on Netflix, and the premise of that is like some post. It was kind of Black Mirror ish, you know. Yeah. Um, post apocalyptic scenario. You don't exactly know what's going on, but sh- you see a robot in this. It's called a repopulation facility, okay. and there's like sixty eight thousand embryos in there, and she basically picks one out and she puts Raises it in a pod it. and like r- like births it ba- basically, and okay. then the robot brings it up or whatever. And I guess she's the the idea is that she's going to repopulate the Earth. Is this the Matrix, dude? No, no. No, because you remember in the Matrix where there was all the babies in the pods and everything in the... Those were being used as batteries. I know they were being used as batteries, <laughs> but I'm just saying, it's, it's kind of sounds similar. <laughs> it, it, 
I enjoyed it. I, I did. I thought it was maybe stretched out a little too much. I was like, if this was just like 20 minutes shorter, it probably could have been an episode of Black Mirror. Because mm. I mean, like, it's... It, it was almost two hours. Yeah. But then, um, so she raises the kid, and then the kid is growing up or whatever. She's like 13 or something, and then someone shows up at the door, and she's like... Whoa. Hillary Skank. Yeah, Hillary fucking Skank shows up at the door, and she's all dirty and shit, and she got shot. She and got gunshot. She's like, uh, the kid's like freaking out, though, because she's like, this bitch told me that everyone was dead. Where did where, yeah. she come Her from? Mother, you know. So then, like, she gets in. Then there's this whole fucking thing. You know, she's in, and then you know they're droids are killing everybody. Yeah, everything. it's dope. You should check it out. Okay, you yeah, like no, it. I'll, I'll definitely check it out. You would like it. I thought it was good. I mean, it wasn't great, but I thought it was okay. I thought it was great. He likes all that stuff. I right. mean, I like it too, but I'm just like, mm, this is. It's been done so many times already. Here's just the different th- ways, you right. know. Here's the thing with you. I think that you would enjoy more if you sat there without your phone in your hand and actually paid attention to what you were looking at. I was at. listening. <laughs> if I wanted to see something, I'll go to the movies. That's everything. She cannot do anything without her phone in her hand. I thought you would. I thought. You, yeah, what? We, how long did it take us to start? Because you're over there taking <laughs> selfies it wasn't and my fucking. Phone. Oh, okay, dude. Anytime we're watching anything, phone in the hand. <laughs> I like to play my food game. Don't you, act like you ain't playing your Marvel game. Not when we're watching something else. Bullshit. Yeah, God, Marvel. all Beth plays is that Tomb Blast game, and she does all the fucking time. All the I used to time. have that. I quit playing that, and I started playing my food game. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I like um, Tomb Blast. Ryan Reynolds promotes it. Hey, Deadpool. Hey, Deadpool. Oh, yeah. All the ladies love Ryan Reynolds. Dude, his commercial with the fucking fake hands is hilarious. Oh, that yeah. Tomb Blast. That one, yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. We got a voicemail. Okay. A voicemail Fun. question from uh, Mr. Riley. Oh, Jesus. Who's he trying to fuck on Tinder now? Uh, hey, hey, yada, 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 all that stuff. Hi, Chris. Hi, uh, too. Hi, Melissa. Um, what, I'm in one of those. That? I'm really tired driving home, and my, I'm probably just kind of retarded right now because my brain's probably. tired. Um, I, you guys are older, so I figured I'd ask <laughs> if you have more experience eating spaghetti, clearly. Um, why does Tupperware get orange forever after you eat pasta sauce out of it but bowls and stuff don't okay thanks bye well it's because plastic is porous and bowls are glass and also too (laughs) i've noticed if you wipe down the tupperware before you stick it in the dishwasher it doesn't stay red dang so maybe you just need to change your cleaning habits some. <laughs> Get on that cleaning game. Youngin. Just take a cloth and wipe it down first. Sure. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, I thought like that was this was calling for I advice. That, well, I was going to say, I thought that this was a stimulating fucking question to ask in the first place. And your answers, I mean, they, <laughs> they, they, they have totally just lived up to the hype. I mean, like, <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, he was asking about the sauce stain on Tupperware. I mean, <laughs> what else are we supposed to say? How do you get a cum stain out of sheets? You don't. <laughs> you have to roll them out. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. Do um, you guys got anything else? No. No? I ain't got shit. All right, no. cool. All right, well, we'll wrap it up. This has been another episode of Hashtag No Offense. If you're a new listener, thanks for checking us out, giving us a shot. We hope that you'll come back on your favorite podcast platform. We are available everywhere. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, and PodCoin. Um, Check us out on PodCoin, definitely. Um, PodCoin, if you don't know, is a new podcast app where you get rewarded for your time listening. You get what's called PodCoins, and you can redeem them for gift cards on Amazon or Starbucks, or you can donate pod coins to uh, starving children in Africa, or, or puppies. puppies, or whatever. Whatever you want. Whatever mm-hmm. tickles your fancy. Um, when you sign up for PodCoin, use code HCNOS and get 300 bonus coins to start. That's the way to do it. Yup. You can reach us on all social media platforms at HTNOS, on the web at HTNOS.com, by emailing us at HTNOS at Yahoo.com. Also call in like Young Riley did on the hashtag hotline. Leave us a voicemail. It's 813-773-5706. Whatever is on your mind, we want to hear from you. Word. I'm the real Wutsky everywhere. Touch us Wutsky on Twitter. Tampa 2 rings. We're out here. Oh, you know what? One thing I want to say before we go. What? Next Thursday... I will be appearing on episode three of Podcast of the Roundtable. Cool. We know what stirred up last time on Podcast of the Roundtable. 
I don't have a mortal enemy that I know of that I'm going to be going against, but I'm sure it's still going to be a great time. Uh, you can check that out live next Thursday, June the 20th, uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern time on the Civilized Creature Facebook page. Mm-hmm. I'll post links and whatnot. And then the very next night, we are going to have the host of Podcast Around Table and one of the resident competitors on our show. That's Randall Fowler and his lovely wife, Brooke, will be joining us next Friday uh, to go over everything that i'm sure is going to ensue so awesome Awesome. check that out look forward to that episode next week we'll catch you later Peace. peace